Microsoft is now suspending plans to develop the new 90 acre campus in Atlanta's west side. Now this decision comes as a company is facing financial hardship. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley spent the day speaking with residents and has their reaction. Joe. Hey, good evening, Ron. This news comes with mixed feelings. Many residents saw Microsoft's development in the Grove Park and Collier Heights neighborhoods as promising one that would bring new jobs and new resources. Now, though, it appears Microsoft is rebooting plans to revitalize the area. Yeah, good Chuck Oligbe has lived in the Grove Park neighborhood in Atlanta for about four years. You just sort of see everyone kind of having the same concerns that they're being priced out um, and we're a lot of worries about legacy residents here in the in the neighborhood. In February 2021, Microsoft announced plans to develop a campus on 90 acres in Atlanta's west side, which includes Grove Park. The company promised to dedicate a quarter of the land to affordable housing, a grocery store and other businesses. Two years passed and the company never broke ground. Then 11 Alive learned Microsoft is pausing the project indefinitely. It does kind of give a little bit of relief as far as the sort of pressures uh, sort of facing people that live around here. Um, it's also kind of sad because like a lot of people are looking forward to the development, hopefully bringing in those nice high paying jobs, hopefully trying to revitalize the area. It caught us a little bit by surprise that uh, Microsoft is going to pause their development. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens noted 10,000 people were recently laid off at Microsoft. The mayor says the pause falls in line with the company's financial struggles and Microsoft would have to rethink what the Atlanta campus looks like. I've had a you know brief conversation with them about no, we're still committed to Atlanta. We still are committed to that location near the Bankhead Martyr Station. And I've also encouraged them and almost, you know, downright, you know, told them that they must continue to do community engagement. In a statement, Microsoft told 11 Alive it is reevaluating its global real estate footprint. The company says the 90 acres it owns is not for sale, and it still plans to move forward with building three new data centers in Fulton and Douglas counties. I really would have liked to see a lot of, you know, beneficial communication between, you know, uh, Microsoft uh, and the residents here to make sure that uh, their needs were being uh, heard. Today, I spoke with one community organizer who tells me Microsoft has not spoken to neighbors there in months. Microsoft first established itself here in Atlanta back in 2007. One company spokesperson tells me there is no timeline yet for when development will resume.